Hello guys and girls and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create and print envelopes in Microsoft Word. Now this feature has been available in Word for about 25 years but it still seems to be one of those things that does confuse people a little bit. So in this video tutorial all I really want to do is go through the entire process of creating a single envelope and also show you a couple of different methods for creating multiple envelopes and how you can send those to your printer as well. So we're going to start out with a blank document and I'm going to jump straight up to the mailings ribbon. Now mailings is where you'll find all of these kinds of things. So if you need to create envelopes or labels or perhaps you want to do something like a mail merge, you'll find all of that kind of stuff on this mailings ribbon. Now we're creating envelopes so we're going to go straight to the create group and we're going to click on envelopes. Now what will open on the screen is the envelopes and labels dialog box and you'll see two tabs at the top and it's jumped me straight to the envelopes tab. Now the first thing I want to focus on here is this return address. So essentially if you want your return address to appear on the envelope you can add it into here. And if you look at the little preview of the envelope to the right hand side, you'll see that the return address is going to show in the top left hand corner of the envelope and the delivery address is that one that's going to be in the middle. Now, if you have the same return address for all of your envelopes, then what you can do is instead of typing it into the return address box every single time that you create a new envelope, you can add it into your Word options so it will automatically appear. So it makes your life a little bit easier. So that's what we're going to do first. I'm going to cancel out of here and I'm just going to jump across to File to go into the Backstage area. And we're going to head straight down into Word options. And the section you want to go to is the Advanced section. And if we scroll through, and there's quite a lot in here, so it's under this section just here, the general section. And you can see here it says mailing address and then we have a blank box. So what you want to do is just pop your return mail address into here. I have mine pasted to the clipboard, so I'll do control V to paste that in. Click on OK. Then whenever you create an envelope, it's going to automatically populate your return address in there. Now, if you decide that on this particular envelope, you don't want to include a return address, you do have a little omit checkbox, which will just take that off of the envelope. And if you look in the preview, you can see that the return address has now disappeared from the top left hand corner. Now, in this case, I do want to include it. So I'm going to untick that checkbox. So that's kind of everything related to your return address and how you can manage that. The next most obvious thing you need to do is to enter your delivery address. So let me just enter one in. And there we go. So I've just manually typed in that delivery address. But if I had my contacts saved off into my address book, I could utilize the little address book icon just there in order to pick which delivery address I want to use. Now, something that's really important in here is you want to make sure that prior to printing off your envelopes, you jump into this options area and you'll see that you have two tabs, envelope options and printing options. So with envelope options, you want to make sure that you're selecting the correct envelope size. So when you purchase your packet of envelopes, it will contain the sizing information of your envelopes. So you want to make sure that you do have the correct envelope size selected in this little drop down box. Also, if you wanted to adjust the way the delivery or return address looked, so you can do things like change the font, make it bold, change the color, then you can do that from within this section as well. And you can also set how far from the left and from the top you want both the delivery and the return address positioned on your envelope. Let's jump across to printing options because this is a really important section. This is basically showing you how to feed or load the envelopes into your specific printer. You can see at the top it's picked up there that I'm attached to a Canon printer. Then underneath I have feed method and it's highlighted one of them in blue. So I can see that for my printer I need to feed the envelope into it face up 
with the short edge first and you get a little pictorial representation there which sometimes really helps when you're trying to work out which way round you need to put that envelope into your printer. So make sure you have the correct feed method selected, make a note of how to load your envelopes into the printer, click on OK and then it's time for you to do exactly that. At this stage I would go and I would load my envelopes into the printer. Once you've done that, you then have two options. I can either choose to send this information directly to the printer, or I can choose to add it to my document. Now, if I'm just doing a one-off envelope, I'm probably gonna to want to just select print. I don't need to keep this information. I'm just gonna send it straight to the printer. However, if I want to maybe reuse this information or maybe I want to print it at a later time and save it into a document instead, I would choose the add to document button. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in this case. So let's click add to document. And you'll see that it loads up into my blank document, my envelope, and that is exactly how it's going to look when I print this document out. So if I wanted to reuse this or keep it for another time, all I would need to do would be to go up to file and save this document as normal. Now that's all well and good, but in this example, we've just really looked at how you can print a single envelope. More often than not, you'll probably want to run off maybe a batch of envelopes. And those envelopes won't necessarily all have the same address details on the front of them. The more likely scenario is that you want to run off a load of envelopes with lots of different addresses on the front of them. So how can we create multiple envelopes? Well, there's a couple of ways that you can do this and which one you choose really depends on how many envelopes you want to print. So for example, if I need to print off a big batch of envelopes, maybe two, 300, maybe I'm running an event and I need to send invites out. If I'm printing off that number of envelopes, my best option is probably going to be to use a mail merge to do that. Now I'm not going to go into how you can create envelopes using mail merge in this particular video tutorial, but just note that if you do have a lot of envelopes to print out, mail merge is probably going to be the easiest option for you, particularly if you have the contact details stored off in an Outlook address book, or maybe even something like an Excel file. Mail Merge is going to make it super simple for you to run off lots of envelopes quickly. But what about a slightly different scenario? I'm printing more than one, but I'm not printing 200, 300. I'm not really printing enough to justify all the extra effort that's required to put together a Mail Merge. Maybe I have five to 10 envelopes I need to run off, and they're all going to different people. How would I do that? Well, it's quite simple. I'm going to make sure that I'm clicked at the top of this envelope so I can see my cursor flashing there before the return address. I'm going to go up to the layout ribbon and I'm going to insert a next page section break. So that essentially pushes the envelope that's done down and gives me another one. I'm going to make sure that I've clicked my mouse in this top envelope and then I'm going to jump back to mailings. I'm going to go to create envelope and I can now enter in my second delivery address like so. Then all I need to do once I've added this new delivery address is click on the change document button and it's going to add it onto that particular envelope. And I would repeat this process for however many envelopes I needed. So again, if you're just doing five to 10, something like that, this is going to be a lot quicker for you and a lot easier than doing a mail merge. Let's just do it one more time because there are quite a few parts to that and you have to be quite specific about where you're clicked in order for this to work. So make sure that your cursor is clicked at the top of the current envelope. Go up to layout, go to breaks and insert a next page section break. Now you'll see that my cursor is clicked down here on the second envelope, so it's super important that you click in that top envelope before going to mailings, envelopes, and entering in your new address. Like so, click on change document to add that in, and you can carry on going for as many envelopes as you require. 
If you want to save them, just jump up to File, go down to Save As, and save your document as normal. And that's it, really straightforward. We've seen there how you can create a single envelope, and we've talked about the two different options that you have when it comes to creating multiple envelopes. That's it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.